Hey y'all, today we're going to work on a Daiwa C-Line SL250H. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's called a sport line or something. Um, anyhow, this one, has a, this one has a bad or a missing um, eccentric or clutch cam spring. And the customer opened it up and took the spring out. And I don't have a replacement for it, but I have something I, I'm going to try that I've used before and it's worked, but I don't know the longevity of this thing. In any event, let's show you how to break this down, uh, service it, and, and get it put back together. So first we're going to start with taking off the handle, undoing that screw right there. And then we're going to take off this screw right here. So, under there, there's nothing, nothing. So, we're just going to back that star drag off. Under there, you'll find two washers. And those washers kind of sit like that, facing each other, looking almost like a flying saucer. Now we can open, this, open up the side plate by removing those four screws right there. And just pulled up straight just like that and let's pull this out there's nothing in this pool to remove it's just this pool itself uh, and I'm not going to remove this side part here or the clicker if you wanted to do so you could get a small screwdriver stick it in between one of those gaps on the e-clip and twist it off and you can also remove that screw to remove the uh, the ring itself now that is a bushing there, it's not a bearing. So you could replace that with a bearing if you wanted to, right there. I'm gonna leave that in there as well because that's kind of covered by this plate. I'm just gonna clean it up in there and oil it at the end. So let's show you this part. To remove the, uh, the bridge, you're gonna undo these four screws. They're all the same size. I'm just going to keep my finger over this so nothing kind of goes flying anywhere. Nothing really does, but it's a good habit to have. And as I said before, all the screws are the same size, so there's nothing to worry about there. I'm going to turn it over like this, just put it straight up. You have the two springs that stayed in. We'll pull those out. And then you have that bearing and there's a little plate or protector there. I'll show you how that sits when we put that back in also. We can remove the bearing. And we're gonna undo this uh, tension knob. As you're removing this, be sure to keep pressure on it because there's a spring under there and you don't want it kind of shooting up on you. I'm going to leave this in. I am going to clean it up though. Uh, if you wanted to remove that, the same issue or same kind of principle as the uh, clip tongue over there. Just stick your screwdriver inside one of the gaps for the e-clip and twist. See how that's working off like so. Make 
make sure I get that back on there. All right, so this, we can pull the jack and the yoke and get that pinion gear out of there. I'm just gonna pull this straight up. Give a washer onto that main gear. And now we're gonna take apart the dog. The dog just sits on a post that's already on the uh, bridge. Make sure it's not loose. Felt kind of loose. Okay. Then the rest is just the drag. That I can get us all in one piece because there's a one on the bottom here that sits inside. Let's see if it comes up. Oh! That rarely ever comes out like that. Kind of have to stick a small uh, tool inside there and kind of pry that up. Anyhow, so the way it sits is, or the drag sits, is like this. And that's essentially all we're going to do. If you wanted to remove this, you could remove that pin that's inside there to take that gear sleeve off. We're not going to do that. Uh, so I will clean this up and come back to you guys and show you how to put it back together. I don't think I missed anything. No. All right. So I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay. Welcome back. Uh, now we're going to just put this reel together uh, or service it or excuse me, grease it and oil it and put it back together. I'm going to add some oil inside that little hole right there. Oof, that's a lot. Uh, it's not that bad. And I'm just going to grease this ring and uh, the clicker. Uh, just doing the top of it and on the sides I'm not doing the tip of it I'm gonna push that forward so I can get inside those gaps and then pull it back out because you don't want that stopping you when you're um, trying to put the reel back together all right so now we can do the spool and stick that inside I'm just gonna grease right here it's around there like that just light. Also that shaft right there in the shoulder. And that should be good. And I'm gonna drop it in. I'm gonna show you guys a little trick in a sec that might save you some time uh, when you're putting this reel back together. All right, now I'm gonna grease this plate do not grease the teeth do not want to do that so I'm just going to add a lighter, light amount of grease right there around it also going to grease that post that's where the dog is going to sit and then the back side I'm just kind of rubbing with my hands now you can grease this shaft a little bit but not too much and grease the threads where the star drag is going to sit on or ride on. I, I threw some corrosion X inside here. I'm still going to add some grease inside just as an added uh, layer. Go ahead and grease the dog. I'm sorry, the, uh, the main gear. And I'll do the pinion gear as well. Grease just the outside of it and also on the bottom. Now, I will tell you, my tendency is to forget this washer that sits under the main gear. So, even though I'm kind of jumping around, jumping around a little bit, I'm going to stick that on there so I don't forget it. And if you know me, you know I like to grease the pinion gear. 
make sure you grease inside that little channel right there. That's where the uh, the yoke is going to ride on. And I do grease inside that hole as well. Some of, the things, some of these things may just be overkill, but as long as it doesn't really affect the performance of the reel, I think we'll be fine. I'm greasing the yoke and I'm going to grease the jack as well. For the yoke, I'm going to grease inside that little groove right there. And now the jack. Same sort of principle, greasing those channels. And I'm going to go ahead and grease this tar drag. Kind of do the inside right there. And I'm going to grease the threads that are inside there. Now for this, we can just add oil to it. This is the tension knob. And I'm going to do a little bit of grease on the, uh, the threads in here. One there and one there should be good. And what else do we have to grease? I think that's about it. Okay. Let's go ahead and stick our bearing inside here. I'm going to grease inside this hole right here, even though it's a, a graphite uh, body or a side plate because rust has a tendency to kind of just sit and build up. So we don't want that. Drop the bearing in and I'm going to oil it. I'm going to work that in a little bit. And while I'm here, I'm going to uh, add that spring and tension knob. This is a little bit easier to put on before the handle goes on. So stick that in and then just screw this. You're going to push down as you turn. It's not that difficult. And don't go, don't go all the way down on it. Let's go about halfway. All right, so now we can stick this retainer inside here. That's, there's a channel right here that that's going to ride in. A groove there and a groove on this side. Uh, get in there. And now we'll do the main gear. Now I'm going to replace the drags on this. So... Um, just adding some grease to the dog, I'm sorry. I'm going to replace the drags on this because those old ones are, those other ones were kind of worn on there. So let's get this out of the way and grab them. The way the drag sits or stacks up is just like that. And you leave these dry. First keyed washer goes on. Then the next drag washer, then your eared washer. Make sure it fits in those slots right there. Last drag washer, and then that final keyed washer. All right, so the trick is this. We're gonna start putting this back together. I'm gonna to add a, quite a significant amount of grease in this hole right here, where those springs are gonna sit. I might even have to add some to the springs themselves. And I'll tell you why in a sec. Quite a lot of grease on them. The goal is to get them to stay there and not move around. All right, let's do one at a time. Kind of work that in, stick it in. If 
you turn it upside down, it's not going to go anywhere. That's the goal. Now to put this back on, where's our pinion gear? We're going to take our, our pinion gear, stick it in the yoke like that. It's going to sit just like this. And it's best if you do it on a table or a flat surface. Oh, let me not do that yet. I take that back. We're going to pop up and do our dog. So we don't forget that the dog is going to sit just like this. And the way you remember that is, I'm sorry, just like this. The way you remember that is the spring will be coming over on the curved end, just like that side is curved as well. The two curved ends will be facing opposite each other. Hope that made sense. And let's just stick that spring on so we don't forget that either. Okay, back to that. We're going to take our pinion gear and our yoke, sit them just like that. We're going to add our jack just like that. It looks just like that. And now all we're going to do is take our side plate and turn it over and put it on top. I'm just making sure I'm not forgetting anything. I'm not forgetting the spring because I'm going to put that on later on. So we're good. Put this in the on position and just drop it straight down just like that. Let's get this sleeve in there so I have a little bit of support. Now I'm going to take that push down on the plate as I squeeze and pull up on the uh, gear sleeve turn it over, press onto that plate, rotate this bridge until I get over my posts. Now when you get to here, you may have an issue of something sticking out of place. And this one does, which is great, because I want to show you this. If that yoke is sticking out of place, just as you squeeze down on that plate, push down on it, And I'll just fall into place. Now we want to make sure this is set. And we can test that in a sec. That's the you can fall out of it once, that's fine. And now all we have to do is set that uh, jack over that knob right there. And we're going to test this to make sure it's set, it's set properly, which it did. Essentially, you want to make sure that post is going through the bridge as well as that post. And now we can double check our dog. Everything's set in place. And you know that this uh, is all sitting properly because if you put this in free spool, it drops that uh, pinion gear down. If you release it, it brings it back up. So now we have to do is just screw this in. Now I can let that plate, that plate go because it's not going to go anywhere. While I was screwing the first couple of screws in, I was holding onto the bridge still just to make sure nothing slipped out of place. I'm going to snug these down, but I'm not going to over tighten them. stick the sleeve back in now for the washers these tension washers are beveled or curved you're gonna have them facing one another one another like I said uh, looking kind of like a flying saucer if 
you do this right you'll see there's a little space or gap in between them they should not be flush like that so we kind of want them looking like like that they're keyed so make sure you find the groove before you put them on I'm going to double check this uh, these screws here what happened there was the um, the drag washer the air drag washer seems like it may have slipped up but it's set back in place so that's good yep that's all good okay so now we can stick our handle on to do the handle we're just going to put this on make sure you don't cross thread this and when you get to a certain point sometimes it wants, it wants to stop on you you can at that point take the handle and stick that over the shaft and continue working it down that way that's good enough I'm add a little more grease right here and screw that in I'm putting that set screw back in and then all we have to left to work on would be the uh, the um, the spring for this the battery died there sorry about that let's continue I'm gonna do a set screw and put that in then we'll work on the spring for the eccentric Okay, so as I said before, I don't have the spring and I can't get it for the uh, for this cam here. So I'm using a replacement spring that has to be kind of rigged. Uh, if you look at this spring, you'll see there's a bent part there. So you do this way. There's a bent area right there. See that? That bent area normally goes towards the cam itself and the other piece goes into over here somewhere I'm gonna turn this around to where that bent end is facing over here and the straight edge the straight end or straight edge is going into the cam the reason is because the shaft in that or the top of that is too high and it'll rub against this plate right here the jack this one's shallower or shorter so it won't now you could cut that off and just kind of keep it the way it's set but it's kind of a risk anyhow the end that's going to fit in here seems like it would go up here somewhere but it doesn't it goes in that corner just below it it is highly unlikely you're going to see what i'm talking about but it does not go up here it goes down in a groove down here so when I put it together I'll show you how it sits and hopefully you can see it that way this spring is a thinner spring than would normally come in here so the longevity of it I could not tell you but but it works Just drop it in like that I'm gonna pull that all the way back uh, let's try that again now set like that 
I'm going to hold on to this and I'm going to move this end over to where it should sit. And once it's set in place, I think I'll just show you to you that way versus trying to show you as I go. Okay, that's set. So if you notice right there, the spring is the end of that spring is not sitting up on that channel up there, it's sitting just below it in the corner, I guess bottom left of it. Let me just gonna double check to make sure it works. Trust me, it's very scary when you look at it, but it works. I'm just not sure how long it lasts. But if you have if you don't have anything else, what do you have to do? Alright, so let's put this back together. Make sure it's in free spool it on until you find the groove to where it sits flush then we're just going to screw it together Go ahead and test this reload to make sure that it's working fine and can go back to fishing. Just snugging these screws down to make sure they're good. Uh, before I do that, one more thing I'm going to do is uh, oil this handle. I'm going to stick a drop of oil inside there and along here, then just kind of work that in. All right, so let's see how this works. That looks good. That sounds good. Free spool works nicely. Put it in the gear. Now we have a reel that can, is ready to go back to fish, which is awesome. All right, guys, I hope to help some of you guys out there. Uh, if you found the video useful, please don't forget to hit that, that thumbs up button. Uh, tell your friends about the channel and by all means, please subscribe if you enjoy seeing videos like this and hit that bell notification so you can get updated whenever I put a new video out. Alright, thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time.